From Ram's Head Center Stage at Maryland Live, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. In this episode, we begin a new cash game series in the Ram's Head Center Stage nightclub at Maryland Live in Hanover, Maryland. At tonight's table, you'll see some familiar faces as well as some veterans of the Baltimore scene to give our game some local flavor. Plus, a little later on, we send a crew to Washington, D.C. to see if it really is a house of cards. Just trying to continue what I do. Buy-ins on Poker Night in America are from 5,000 to 20,000. Yeah, Most of the players in the middle of those two numbers. And Russell Thomas gets the odd buy-in award of the day, $12,550. As we head to the felt here at Maryland How many chips Live. did you have on that? What was your peak in the main? Uh, four million. You just and got unlucky, or? Lost, lost, uh, I lost a big one in a three-bet pot with 10-9 on 9-8-6 against aces. It's kind of a tricky spot with stack sizes. Against a good player. Is that your first time, then? Uh, first time cashing in the main. Cool. Sixth time playing. Oh, wow. Very exciting. Bill DiPaolo raises to 300. He gets a call you, you from both like Merson and Tom five. Schneider. How old are you, Hastings? 26. Six times played the main event already. Yeah, I mean, I, I turned 21 and then I played the main event like two weeks afterwards, so. <laughs> How many times have you played, Phil? Yeah. yeah. I played every year since 1988. Two pair for Schneider. I was uh, 23 my first main event. You, but in my day, 20, did, playing did you win the first time you played? Deal. No, I won the second time I played. All about six. First time I played, I had the chip lead, and I was deep, and there was this guy named Johnny Chan who I actually had never heard of. And I tried to bluff him. There were like a four club board, and I had two red eights, and he called me with two pair. And then like a half an hour later, he had jacks, I had tens, and we were all in. After it came seven, eight, nine. You know, Johnny Chan won it back to back, and then Took he won it that third year. year. He won it in '87 and then '88. And he took second next year to you, right? Yeah. That's pretty. And here sick. comes the big raise from Schneider with those two yeah, pairs. Yeah, I was ready for him the next year. Bumping it up to three thousand. Three thousand. They should have just made rounders about you. <laughs> uh, they, 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 uh, they, the producers came to ask me. Uh, the Weinstein brothers were in Vegas. And they wanted a meeting with me, but I didn't know who they were, and it was the day before the main event. And I'm like, Wait, when? This oh, year? no, no, like 99 or whatever. Your buddy regrets not taking that oh, okay. meeting. <laughs> right? Yeah, and Chan took the meeting, and he's in the movie. <laughs> it was the day before the main. I'm not meeting with anybody the day before the main. <laughs> you know? I mean, come on. I can only imagine what your routine's like the day before the main. <laughs> well, it's just relax as much as possible. But I get way too hyped up for the main event. I don't know about you, but... I do, too. Uh, like, every every day when I was playing the main this year, I was waking up at, like, 8 a.m. Like, oh. we'd play until 12.30. I'd go to bed at 2, two or 3, wake up at 8. Yeah. That's tough. That's tough. How'd that work out for you? I got 64. With 7,000 players. Not bad. Yeah. Not as good as these guys, but someday. Someday. You will call... Poker Night is brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online, and by DraftKings. Jack on the turn. Check. All in. All Jack in. and an all in from Schneider. Call. And a call from Merson. Uh, I only want to go once. One time. Right. Merson also picked up a straight draw on the turn. Have to? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Scott. How you flush draw? A lot of outs. River's another jack. Wow. And Tom Schneider is going to scoop our first pot of the night, 65? which yeah. is a whopper, almost $20,000. 
Uh, he has me covered. I can't stand PLO live cash. Like everybody, everybody's always asked me why I don't play PLO live, and it's like nine-handed PLO. That's even dumber. The worst yeah. game of all time. <laughs> the worst. I can't stand wow, it. Wow, Robert, wow. Robert. That's like he's. That's like he's uh, making fun of your kids. Wow. No. It's just such a bad game, nine-handed. Yeah. Brian Hastings is going to open it up with ace jack. Entirely different game than six-handed. Yeah. Uh, let's have a nice friendly. Yeah. I don't agree with. It is an entirely different game. Nice friendly little pot, Joe. I played one that. live kilo session this summer. We're all friends now. Right? Nine it calls with and aces, and that induces a bunch of players to come along to see the gets flop. Raised and three bet, and I just fold. <laughs> and then three hands later, some some spot gets stacked, and the game breaks. Great game. Hastings pairs his jack, but Schneider is still ahead with the overpair. Greg Merson bet 800 with his open-ended straight draw. He got a call from Schneider. Hastings probably wondering what he got himself into here. He raised pre-flop and then he hits top pair, top kicker. And there's all 3, kinds 000. of betting going on around. Three thousands are raised. Well, he's going to make it three thousand. All in. All in has been announced. Schneider's now all in. A call. A call. And a call from right. Hastings. So let's just get the night going with a couple of twenty thousand dollar pots here tonight. Not a good hand to run into. This one worth eighteen thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. They're running it twice. Oh, I really wanted to stick it in so bad. <laughs> I was really rooting for a show. Yeah. I mean, after that one, yeah. Oh, my. it's good to win the first one. All right. I said one. So Hastings does well, win the dead. first There's one. No more jacks, the trip so. jacks. That's good news for you. That, uh, I had King Jack. Man, how sick is that? All right, give him a diamond. Oh, oh my god. god. Right. I got the ace. He has ace of diamonds. Oh, he does. He does. Oh. Chop it up. Wow. <laughs> god. Chop it up, he says. <sighs> That's the guy that chopped the tournament yesterday. You actually thought your hand was going to hold up against him? <laughs> He's running so high right now. Stick around. There's plenty more poker to come from Ram's Head Center Stage at Maryland Live. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. Let's get back to the cash game. Lion, Lion dogs live. Yeah, yeah. beat a dead horse. And Tom Schneider's moving in with like uh, six, call. Ten four, six ah, yesterday. Four, six, yum, yeah. yum. This is going to be some big pops. Yeah, I know. I could have called, right? I Sean Deeb get stuck 35K call. and get out. That's insane. That even even insane. worse, I helped. I started the rally for him. I gave him, gave him my stack. He did. It was unbelievable that he did it. Well, it was set over set. Yeah, he really did. Yeah, he really did. Yeah, that's so sick. That's that's really something. All right, let's do it. He got in like 15k blind versus blind with Lance with Ace Queen versus Ace King. Lance is such a net. Yes. Don't like that. He was playing so loose. I think he was like four players to the flop that has two himself. kings. And uh, yeah, he was just playing super loose. Yeah, I mean, I used to play like that. I can I can, re I can relate to like being like, oh, I made three at the top of my range, I'm raising 100, percent and then just like feeling the need to like put as much money in as possible. Yeah. That's 500. But Robert Williamson the third, third picks up a flush days, draw on the like turn. The equivalent of getting it in with like. East 10, like five years ago, I'm like, it's insane. <laughs> in, the, in the stars. Yeah, you young net internet kids could never fold Ace Queen. It was always never folded it. Yeah. Dumpster Joe makes the call. Times have changed, boys. Times have changed. And the river is a queen of diamonds. And so Dumpster Joe's got the full house. Williamson missed on his draw. 
You don't see a board like that very often, do you? That doesn't mean he's not going to bet and try to take this pot. Yeah, you're right, though. A few years ago, I mean, you oh. just see, like, ace-jack versus ace all in three, like, on the race. Yeah. yeah. I just got a jack. Hmm. I got king jack. Dumpster king Joe's going to win his first pot here in his home yeah. casino. <laughs> If you can't guard a guy with his butt on the ground, then you are not very athletic. No, I know. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm not very athletic. No, what I'm telling you, that. I, I think uh, you resemble that remark. Yeah. Well, I think if he no. gets, I was thinking about it. If he gets all like, let's just say that he puts a bunch of like uh, grease on the on his uh, shorts, and he runs and slides. You can't defend that if he's sliding towards the hole and shoots. I mean, it's so tough to like shoot a sliding runner. I mean. I know Huck's like good at some weird stuff. But. All he has to do is hit the rim. No, all I have to do is hit the rim. All I have to do is hit the rim. Dude, you're a huge he, favorite. He has to make it. You're a huge favorite. It sounds like a basketball prop that I'd actually like to see happen. <laughs> Seriously, it's just. Uh, well, the other side's argument is, how am I going to score? You just this have to is, hit the rim. Yeah, I know, but he's 6'6 six, six and like really athletic. And that's how you play oh, gonna, seven deuce of your yeah, butts. You're still going to be able to lob. Dumpster oh, Joe he's, hits he's two pair like Williamson he's with top pair like top kicker. After he shoots, I can just get rebounds and quickly like get up to the three point line and while yeah. he's getting up. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean, I, yeah. Man, I, I want to so, bet your son. So when he's dribbling, he has to he has to then stop talk, and talk sit to up. Ivy or I think Abe likes that side. I forget who else. The problem is that Huck never loses prop bets. Yeah, like, no. he's beat me for a lot of money. It's scary, it's scary. So. He might have done that prop bet before, possibly. I, can, I, w I want at least like more information and like we haven't negotiated like what All we play in. up to or anything. Yeah. The bet's not done yet. Should you should practice against someone good. I'll call at the wide. Oh, Pay him hundred bucks. We are just accumulating huge pots here tonight on poker night in America. Call. Once or twice. Twice fine. Twice is fine. We're doing them twice. And they're going to run this one twice. I thought you were a once kind of guy, Rob. Dumpster, Dumpster. Joe Butts yeah. is ahead. <laughs> Whoa. All That's right, so Williamson now picks up a flush draw. That's, That's a, a big very big card. Six six There's a diamond. It's fine. All right. The first one will go to the dumpster. Red brick. One time for dumpster. Six of hearts. Guaranteed not lose. Good to win the first one. Deuce. That's what we're talking about. Woo. All right. It's still ties. Well, it's true. It's true. It's still ties. Seven. Seven. Oh. Dumpster oh, Joe takes seven slide. deuce and not only wins the first one, but also the second one. Yeah, he's got flags and stuff. Five, yeah, yeah. And he is going to take the entire stack off of Robert Williamson the third. You know, there's going to be more fluctuations when you play with Concrete Joe and Dumpster Joe, but they can take you out in any given hand, and and they, you know, I think the Dumpster Joe really smashed Robert Williamson good there. He's quickly becoming America's heartthrob. More Dumpster Joe when we return to Maryland Live on Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is brought to you by DraftKings. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. We return to our No Limit Cash Game. Even though he's not, if they, if they don't yeah, come, it's live. I got you. Yeah, yeah right. like a sleeper. Is back in for another 10,000. Yeah, yeah. Russell Thomas gets it open with King 10. Schneider calls with Queen 10. Well, this just looks like too much fun. And everybody's involved here with a little bit of something. Five players see the flop together. Both Thomas and Schneider hit their 10. Well, that made that a little easier. Paul. Oh, I'm glad you said this. And go check, check on the turn to the river. Wasn't going to say anything since he's playing a pot, but. What, what, what happened? You have to pay uh, the dealer uh, his tip. Oh. Really? He's yeah. kidding. He's no, no. Kidding. He's, he's kidding. kidding. So you got to rewind on that damn camera, right? Well, this is the first flop, actually. Uh, so you don't, even have, to, you don't have to hit rewind. <laughs> Uh, 
Add them until the river. And this one, just a little baby pot of just $9,500 for Tom Schneider. Dumpster Joe Butts, a living legend here at Maryland Live. What can you do? That's the rule, that's the rule. As we get rule. back to the 2550 No Limit game here at Maryland Live. Action is on Dumpster Joe with aces. Opens it up for 300. 900. 900 is a raise. Brian Hastings raises 900. to 900. And here comes some more. We're up to 3,100. It would be cool if you could bury your body, like, instead of burying it, they could just place you on the ground face up. In case, you know. Just in case. Just in case, you know. <laughs> don't put me in the ground, put me on. Like, I don't care, a dog comes and pees well, on me, that's not that. right. It's called care. a mausoleum. Wow, we are going right yeah. down the road to get it all in Zville I mean, here. Uh, yeah, but you're, you're in inside. You're, I want to be outside, you're like, on a golf course. Like, I want to be a hazard on a golf course. Oh. Lane's got a big smile. Oh. What's going on here? Well, look at oh, we're, we're talking about funerals, and these guys are going all in. Wow. Hastings will succumb wow. to the pressure. This is what it's like, Maryland style. Three deuce right off here. one time. Thanks for stopping, Bob. Show us, show them the, show them the bull. Thanks for stopping, Bob, buddy. Show yeah. them the bull. Oh, come on. Dumpster, dumpster. Yeah. Dumpster. <laughs> dumpster. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show a card so bad. I like that. Uh, I'd have showed you if you put the rest of them in there, my friend. Oh, yeah. This will be part of the party. Have you seen the movie Weekend at Bernie's? My friends? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> my friends will probably pour beer in my mouth. Yeah. I got some sick yes, friends. Yes, yeah. They'll probably totally you have know, me drinking You have, like, things on your feet so your shoes are, like, containers, you know, <laughs> so that they keep storing the beer? <laughs> I love that idea. I wish I had I mean, I figure I've had so much fun in life. Why not have fun Hell in death, yeah. too? Yeah, I'm, I, I agree with that. 250. 100%. Take a picture of this one. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. A couple of World Series of Poker bracelet winners going it after it here. Oh, I got some good ones. I know you do. I want to hear more. Turns another king. Check. Check from Schneider. Schneider more of a mixed game specialist, as he says, but I think he does pretty well at No Limit Hold'em. And of course, Greg Merson, the World Series of Poker main event champion. And they're both gonna be playing the board. Check. We know that, but they don't know that. And check again from Schneider. Two thousand. I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's so sick. So sick. Greg, Greg, Greg. You know I got a monster here. I have the same hand as you. Did you have it? Same hand? The board? Well, yeah. I didn't have the board prior to the river. Let's do a quick tally before we leave for the night. The biggest winner of the night is Tom Schneider, Donkey Bomber up over $17,000. But Maryland Live regular, Dumpster Joe Butts, up $15,000. Look at that, only two guys on the plus side tonight. These two have been creating a vacuum at the table. When we come back, it's a poker night field trip to the nation's capital. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. While we were here in Baltimore, Poker Night in America had a rental car. We put Phil Helmuth in it and sent him to D.C. 
Here's a sneak peek. We also understand there is a lot of poker played here in Washington, even on Capitol Hill. There has, there may have been poker played in this very room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, within a mile of this Capitol on any given night of the week, there's probably dozens of poker games going on. You know, members of the staff on the Hill, Capitol Hill, and many elected officials play poker. Uh, members of Congress, other lobbyists from other industries, and even the guys who are sweeping the floors here. It's a tough job uh, representing the American people, and they're looking for some release and an opportunity to have a good time. To me, the theme of Poker Night in America in D.C. is poker is presidential. Now, I'm about to walk into a game inside the Beltway. For more steamy political intrigue, log on to PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Also, be sure to check out our online store for Poker Night shirts, hats, hoodies, and more. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. What's up, RW3? Has he been, he's broke out the damn Tabasco <laughs> sauce already? He's been putting it on our tongues every time we... Uh, I go to this guy, I go with this guy to the Kentucky Derby every year. We go to five-star restaurants, and he pulls this out. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, now, Phil, I'm from the South. I want a beer with Tabasco. All right, whatever, Robert. Whatever. And then he orders, then he orders a $10,000 bottle of wine, but... <laughs> Poker Night in America is brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online and by DraftKings.